Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrim, and with BFA, we're gonna be getting a brand new mode of PvP for War Mode. War Mode is not really all that new. It's World PvP, but at least now it has its own name, and Blizzard is given its own love and attention and care to this type of experience. So if you're somebody who's a PvPer and you've been looking for more ways to PvP past just battlegrounds and arenas, World PvP is making a final comeback in BFA. I feel that War Mode and World PvP in Legion basically was a dead fish. With legendaries, trinkets, a bunch of PvE gear, tier set bonuses, artifact weapons, and classes that didn't have stat templates on them, it was a lot harder for you to get anything done out in the world, especially when it comes to World PvP as it just turns into a one-shot fiesta. On top of that, one of my favorite pastimes, which is dueling in scenic locations, just completely up and vanished because of all the imbalances with gear. I used to love watching YouTube videos where players like Census and Sativ and even Mercator to some extent way back in Pandaria from way back in the day would find the best of the best players and duel them out in scenic worlds, scenic areas. They would go in front of ICC or in deserts of Tolvir or really by waterfalls anywhere pretty and duel each other. It was an open world experience and it was really really cool and that's something that really lost a lot of its shine in Legion because of all the gear stuff. Well, in BFA, they're really bringing a lot of it back. They're bringing back War Mode as World PvP or World PvP as War Mode. So it's World PvP, but a little curated by the developers. It has a little bit of shine and a little bit of love. So it's not just completely wild, wild west out there where everything goes. There is some semblance of balance. And of course, there is an incentive for activating War Mode. So War Mode is something that gives you a little bit extra of incentive. Let's talk about incentive. Just for enable War Mode, which basically says, yes, I agree to World PvP environment. World PvP out in the world. I can get atta attacked by anyone and anyone can attack me any moment. Just by agreeing to that, you get 15% more experience. So if you're somebody who's leveling a new character you, and you're somebody who likes risks, you might want to level out in War Mode in World PvP. Because if you are getting quests done, you're killing mobs back to back to back, and you're able to get around and not get attacked by people all the time, you get 15% more experience. So if you're somebody who knows your quest paths and maybe runs in a group together so you guys can help each other out in case you get somebody of the opposite faction trying to attack and mess with you, you can get a lot of experience done, a lot of questing done, and be very, very efficient about it. So that's one of the incentives. The other incentive is better rewards at max level. So I would guess doing world quests, you might be able to get a little better gear, maybe a higher item level, but like five maybe, more Azerite bonuses, which would be nice. So there is incentive to turn it on world PvP, to turn it on war mode. But when you turn on war mode, you consent to the idea, yes, anyone can attack me. It's kind of sort of wild west and anything could happen. The way they're doing servers in war mode is a little different too. Instead of giving you servers that you're on, like a PvP or PvE server, all servers are going to be flat paced to a PvE server. All servers in BFA are going to be PvE. But when you activate war mode, you get sharded to a whole another realm with other players that enabled war mode. On top of that, when you enable war mode and you go out in the world, you get access to your talents and honor talents, which means you're going to get a little bit different of gameplay because any moment a player can attack you, so you might as well be prepared. But also means there are some nice and interesting combinations that players can use in order to make their questing experiences in some ways easier. To be able to use DFA while out in the world, where yes, DFA is now an honor talent, is pretty awesome. And for some classes, there are some game-breaking things like where Subtlety Rogues and Shadow Shocker Cheap Shot can take off a boss's 10% of health. Doesn't matter if it's a world boss, doesn't matter if it's a quest mob. Imagine 10 rogues together, Shadow Strike and a single boss, 10 of them taking off 10% health, a pop, that's 100% health in a single global. But of course, there's going to be issues of scaling. Low bees getting ganged by top players, high level players, players with the best gear in the world. Eventually that is going to happen, but Blizzard is also trying to change that up a little bit to give everybody who is brand new to the game or just leveling character to have at least somewhat of an equal footing. Now, if you're somebody who level 120 on BFA right now, for me, I noticed, and other people as well, it's a lot easier for you to kill a level 120 rather than a 110. It feels like if you are attacking somebody lower level than you are, the lower the level, the more struggle it is 
to take them down. Sometimes it feels like I have to do double the damage just to take out a low B compared to trying to take on a fresh level 120. That is because of the new scaling system. If you've ever seen in Legion those players that are capping themselves at level 101, that have the best possible gear at level 101, that are twinks that can literally one-shot bosses in normal dungeons, and can even one-shot level 120 players because of the scaling. Because the lower level you are, the more effects you get out of all the pieces of gear, out of all the stats, and in World PvP in BFA, the lower your level, the harder it is for you to get taken down and I would expect it's, it might be even much easier for you to take on a player that's max level. I was able to attack players of different levels and no I didn't go looking for lobbies. It just is beta so not a lot of people are going to level a character all the way to 120 and not every 120 is going to queue for war mode so I attack players of different level ranges. Attacking players near my level, anywhere near 120, 119, 118, 117 was definitely easier than attacking players level 110, 111, 112 and below. So the higher the level is, the easier it is for me to deal with them. But it doesn't mean that my class is not overpowered. Rogues are doing really well right now on BFA beta, of course before all the damage number normalizations are there, and killing speed is majority of my damage. So as long as I can get my killing speed done whenever possible, then that's where most of my damage comes from. From. It changes the way you PvP and changes how you approach the world situations, and overall, I actually found myself quite enjoying it. So, without further ado, as now all of you understand why I'm attacking low level players, not because I'm ganking them, not because I'm doing more damage to them, but rather because I'm doing less damage to them. Now that all of you realize this, I hope you enjoy whatever is left of this video, as I'm just going to showcase some of me attacking players of various level ranges. you wanna be something yeah well all you really need is hope i just want you to trust me if you wanna be something yeah. that's right let's go yeah, when you're feeling down and you're out, like you got nothing but doubt, you're alone in the crowd, just trying to figure it out. All that is bad, and this money got you feeling left out. Listen up to me now, every word that's out of my mouth. Let's go. Wake up, it's me. You're gonna follow your dreams, or are you just gonna yeah. be another yeah. cog in the right. seat? You feel nah. the hope in this beat, yeah, the hope that you need to proceed and be exactly what you want it to be. Okay, I feel okay. right, and I'm proud. Yeah. Hype, and I'm loud. Yeah. I'ma shout all about how I feel in the now. Right. Ain't nobody ever gonna try to change me. Till I'm dead, pushing up daisies. I'm alone in the crowd, I won't feel down, I got hope right now Just for the sake of transparency, I did find myself a level 120 mage And I am going to put them side by side Me attacking a level 120 mage versus me attacking a level 110 mage And you can just simply see the damage difference and how much effort I have to put with the one And how much effort I have to put with the other in order to take them both down and it honestly felt like a level 120 went down a little bit faster than a level 111, 112, a lower level character, but it really isn't that different. You hear the voice in your ear, can you start to see clear? Are the bad thoughts near? Or can you be where your feet are young when you stand right here and say no? I'm never gonna give up, I'm never gonna slow. The one that doesn't give up never loses to a foe. The one that can show to myself I could go all the way to the top, can't stop. Me. I'm a soldier, always closer till it's over. Older, but I'm bolder, moving forward. Motor, never slower, get to know ya. Don't go make me drop my shoulder. You need to believe you can achieve everything that you dream. Everything that you need is in the air that you breathe. It's yeah. in the mind that you feed, it's in the time that you bleed yeah. Every second of life is another blessing to me yeah. Yeah. So when you feel like you're nothing But you wanna be something yeah. Well all you really need is hope I just want you to trust me If you wanna be something Yeah, yeah. let's go Yeah, you yeah. it's what you need when you're dead Need when you're out, what you need when you're sad And when you feel left out, you feel yeah. an energy drought And then creeps out, but with a little bit of hope You yeah. can figure yeah. it out, let's go. keep your head high Even when you're down inside, through the pain you fight And through the pain from nights, you keep striving Keep trying, keep driving, rising Keep thriving, surviving Nothing's in your way but yourself Don't need nobody's help, you can make it through this hell Take it once up at a time, once up as you climb If you fail, you'll be fine, get back up to the grind And never lose sight of your mission nah. Be driven, this life is a prison if you don't have vision yeah. You're in it yeah. to win it, so get it, don't miss it yeah. Your chances yeah. now, so be something somehow Don't let yourself down
Oh yeah, I roll up to the party with the handle of Bacardi And I pass it off to all of my friends Oh yeah, she rolls up to the party in a dress that shows her body And she's hanging out with all of her friends Yeah, yeah, let's go Yeah, she wants to play it like that Look her in the eyes and she look her right back Feel the heat rise with the right contact She's playing with the hair so I know she likes that I, yeah, I can feel the beat now All I wanna do is get her out of the crowd And on the dance floor with the bass so loud Making my move through the room right now She used to dance with them She never danced again Something in her is dead But now she has a chance again So dance, baby, dance again Take my hand, baby, dance again It's your chance, baby, dance again Let's just dance, baby, dance again So we hit the dance floor, body on mine, want a little bit more. Shout out you find they're a little rap boy. And we lose track of time, we don't care anymore. Uh, yeah, feel the beat right now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I cleared up the misconception as best as possible. My biggest fear was to make a video and everybody else without understanding how the system works to show them hey here's a level 120 you're just beating up on a bunch of lower levels how is this actual pvp but i just want to showcase you guys how the scaling works after explaining it so hopefully everybody understands what's going on i didn't want to just be some asshole but i didn't want to go instead of just ganking lobbies i didn't want to test the scaling system and how it works right now rogues are doing exceptionally well and killing spree is basically a one shot so my type of gameplay that I had might have been a little different if it was assassination. More or less same as subtlety, but it was definitely interesting to see how much my specialization could do. Actually, all these guys that are playing in here in war mode, they did queue for war mode, they did queue to be attacked by anybody else, so there was consent to that at the very least. So if anything, they knew what they were expecting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts about the upcoming BFA system in World PvP. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are the parts you like? What are the parts you don't? As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, likes, and hit the notification bell are always welcome. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see all of you in another video.